Hi, this video is for all uh, Alegu Neptune 4 Plus printer uh, owners. Today I will show you uh, the way you can uh, mount the camera to the printer. We will discuss uh, different uh, options you have uh, when you would like to attach uh, the camera to the printer. So stay with me. In another video on my uh, channel, uh, I uh, showed you how to install the webcam uh, for Neptune 4 uh, Plus. Uh, there was a configuration uh, part for a uh, clipper. And uh, today we will discuss uh, the way we can uh, put the camera uh, on the printer. So first of all, uh, the printer. If we, ha if we have a look on the Neptune uh, 4, it's a, a really big uh, printer. We have uh, different options when we'd like to install uh, the camera uh, to this printer. First of all, there is a, a tripod. This is the easiest option. You will grab your camera. There is a screw. A quarter inch a screw so you will screw it uh, together and you have uh, a, a way that you can uh, attach the camera and place it in front of the printer but there are some drawbacks so if we uh, place the camera on this position we will uh, have some uh, autofocus issues because the Neptune 4 is a, a bed slinger so the bed moves uh, all the time so to the uh, beginning and to the end uh, of this area and we will get uh, some uh, focus issues and uh, beside that uh, if you would like to uh, take a time-lapse video the uh, movement will be visible uh, on the video and the other option would be to attach uh, the camera directly uh, to the printer but it's not uh, so uh, easy uh, at, the front, at the front there are some screws we could use but uh, on the right side uh, there is a display so it will be a, a little bit problematic when you put the camera on the corner on the other side that's a possible solution but in this case we will uh, when we put the camera there we will increase the size which is necessary uh, keep the printer on the desk so you will need to have a big uh, desk to do it. The another option would be to install it directly uh, to this frame. So uh, we have two sides on the uh, left side uh, there are a lot of cables so the cables they are problematic so uh, we won't uh, do it on this side but this side is uh, very interesting. If we attach it directly to the Z uh, axis, uh, you, we will uh, get the nicest picture because the camera will be moving all the time uh, with the print head. To solve uh, the problem, I came up, came up with an idea of my own mount. This is the mount that we can attach uh, directly to the Z axis. I created it with uh, Fusion 360. You will get uh, the STL file, uh, link to the file in the video description. So don't worry, you can print it on your own Neptune 4 at home. It won't take much time. It's very simple. It, it, you don't need any support. So it's a very beginner friendly uh, mount. So if you are a star uh, beginner, uh, just uh, print it. There will be a, a description how to connect all the parts together and then you are ready to go. So this is the mount. You will need some uh, two M4 screws and of course uh, what you also should buy in your Home Depot is this quarter inch uh, camera screw. This one will be placed here and we can screw uh, the camera uh, to the mount. So I will remove the camera from the tri tripod and then we will install it on the mount. So this is the mount yeah. and I'm uh, screwing it together. So this is some old Logitech uh, camera uh, with HD resolution. So I will get some nice results, but uh, what you should consider, you need to change the 
uh, orientation of the build uh, when you would like to uh, take some time-lapse videos with it because the camera is not uh, horizontal you need to flip uh, the, the camera is horizontal but the uh, the picture uh, needs to be flipped inside a uh, clipper uh, itself so let's install it right now as you can see i have uh, inserted two uh, brass uh, inserts uh, we will put the uh, the holder behind uh, this metal uh, frame and just screw it uh, together with two m4 screws so let me grab some screwdriver two screws and let's uh, do it right now you will see it's very simple you don't need to worry that you break anything because you won't so it will take few seconds so the first screw is done and right now the second one And voila, it was so simple. Uh, right now I need to just connect uh, the camera to the printer. And I will show you when the printer is, uh, uh, is uh, on, how uh, this one looks like inside a clipper. Uh, the printer is already on, the camera is attached to the printer and we can have a look on the clipper right now if you uh, go uh, to the IP address of your printer it is the uh, IP address of my uh, printer uh, you can see a, a picture that, that the camera is working and we need to uh, do a few configuration steps first of all like I said the camera i already did it so i will show you where you should do it uh, you need to go to settings then there is a camera section just uh, click here and uh, don't worry about those uh, two other cameras because i'm using uh, different cameras for different purpose for instance when i'm uh, making uh, time lapse videos i'm using a uh, 4k uh, creative uh, camera and for typical uh, watching stuff if the uh, printer is okay i'm using the logitech camera so we will do it for the logitech camera if you click here you can see there is this rotate by option you need to set it to uh, 180 degree in this case the picture will be rotated so when i change it to none you can see when we go back to the main screen that uh, this one is not correct so it will be in your case you you will get uh, the picture looking like this so i uh, like i said settings camera choose your uh, select your camera and then rotate it by 180 degree uh, we are not done if you are not using a time lapse uh, if, if features uh, time lapse plugins it's okay you don't need to do any other configuration steps but i'm also using a time lapse plugin uh, to get some nice uh, videos uh, beside uh, the configuration you won't need to install anything there is another uh, video from me how you can install the time lapse uh, plugin so please have a look on the other videos on my uh, channel so let's go to the time lapse. Uh, to, uh, sorry, sorry, it's not correct. Let's go to the configuration uh, section. In the configuration section, there is a, a printer uh, config uh, file. In the printer config file, uh, you need to have a look and on the time lapse plugin configuration. Am I right? No, of course not. Moonraker conf. Moonraker conf is the proper uh, configuration file. Sorry, guys, my mistake. So let's go to the Moonraker conf, not printer conf, but Moonraker conf. Don't forget it. There's this time lapse uh, section, and you need to flip uh, the epsilon 
axis set it to true and that's all so it will work perfectly uh, you will get some nice uh, time lapse video with this mode as i said the model is free of uh, any charge you will get it for free from my printables page the link is in the video description i hope i uh, could help you please don't forget to subscribe uh, to my channel and please leave a like on my printable page under the print model for this mount so have a nice evening bye